All right, it looks like the controller is, looks like it's dry. Um, it already looks pretty good. For some people, this may be um, just fine. Um, you could actually use uh, use the controller as is. It's it's well coated and protected with the lacquer. Uh, we go ahead and we put our controllers through a, a through a two-step process. Uh, it gets things a little smoother. You can feel some of the end grain is raised up, and there's some some little bump, little bumps and things here. Um, so the wet sanding takes off, uh, smooths everything out and gives you a smooth layer so that you can spray uh, the final coats on. Uh, so we're just using wet and dry paper. Uh, this is 500 grit, uh, which is pretty fine for, for what we're doing. If, if you have uh, drips and runs, um, probably need to use something a little more coarse like um, 200 grit, 220. Um, but I don't have any runs or drips, so I'm basically just going to use uh, 500 to just go over the whole thing pretty quickly. Um, what I do is I, I take my paper and I fold it so that the paper um, is overlapping and, and holds itself together so it's not sliding around when you're using it. And th again, this is wet, dry paper, so I have a container of water here. I'm just going to dip it in the water. and. You know, basically what you're doing is 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 a, just a heavy wipe. Um, you're not really trying to take off too much material. Um, just kind of going over the whole thing, um, and it kind of smooths everything out, uh, or eliminates any raised grain uh, issues. Uh, the it's gotten three coats of lacquer, so the lacquer is completely sealed off the wood. You don't have to worry about it getting the wood wet. Um, try to go with the grain it, when possible. That's pretty smooth. Uh, you want to be very careful on the edges. Try not to sand straight on. Try to cup your hand and, and go very quickly on the edges because the sandpaper will remove uh, the material quickly and it'll take it down to the wood and then you'll have to stain uh, and re-lacquer. So um, really I'm just I'm just wiping that down. I'm, I'm not really trying to sand it as much as just wiping it down with wet and dry paper and stand it up on end and sand the edges. Again, try to keep it flat. We don't want to uh, we don't want to take too much off the corners. Um, if it's gonna if you're gonna have runs, these are the areas on the end edges where the runs will be. So carefully look at that and uh, make sure you don't have any runs because if you do, now is the time to work on that. You can completely smooth them out and put more lacquer on and uh, it'll, be, it'll be just fine. Um, I just use, the, use my finger to get as a, as a form to get down in there. So that's all nice and smooth. I'm not I'm, I'm not feeling any any rough raised grain. And then I'll go ahead and do the top. Um, there's a these controllers have a bevel, and then they have a top edge. So the bevel you want to hold. Try to try to keep the paper as flat on the bevel as you can. Try not to take uh, sand the the edge of the bevel. Try to just sand the flat of the bevel. Because again, that will that will take that edge off really quickly, and you really don't want in this step to do too much. You really just want to do a minimal light sand in between coats. So I just did the bevel, and I'm and I'm just keeping it flat to the bevel. I'm going to come back and just skim the top, I mean, very quickly skim. So I'm not removing any. I'm not removing much of the clear coat and definitely not removing any of the um, stain. So once we've sanded it, just uh, feel it, make sure that there's no uh, rough edges. And we can go back just with a cloth and just dry, dry it off really well. Get all the water, any, uh, make sure to get off any, any residue left over from sanding. Uh, when, once this thing dries, you'll see if there's any residue, it'll be like a white, 
uh, chalky substance. You want to get all of that off of there before we go to the next step of spraying. So I'm just wiping it down. Now, if you did accidentally take uh, take the finish off and go down to the wood, you could just let it dry and you can get your stain and touch up and fill in the um, fill in the, the the color while it's still wet. So I'm gonna just leave it like this and let it dry. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at it now and right here there's a tiny little edge and here's a tiny little spot where the stain, uh, where we sanded a little too much. It's a good example of what I was talking about. So I'm just gonna take a tiny little dab and add a tiny little dab of stain there and a tiny little dab of stain there. And those are gonna be just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and let that sit for a couple minutes just to so make sure it's dry before we go to spray.